Throws to the corner. Open Beverly. Again, another three. Your Celtics.com post-game report is presented by Putnam Investments. 39 points in 28 minutes. That's what the Celtics allowed the Clippers to make up during a loss Saturday night at TD Garden. Boston led by 28 points late in the second quarter. Its offense looked unstoppable while scoring a season-high 74 points during the first half. But then the Celtics lost Kyrie Irving at halftime to a right knee injury, and everything seemed to fall apart from there. Boston managed to score a season-low 38 points during the second half, which allowed the Clippers to get back into the game before dealing the Celtics their second straight loss here at TD Garden. We knew it was going to be closer than a 21-point game. But the way we played defense in the second quarter, again, our defense in the second and third has been bad all year. I think it was lack of stops defensively, them getting easy things, and us you know, walking the ball up the court, taking tough shots, and like I said, just kind of snowballs on you. We just didn't move it enough. Just taking uh, early shots, coming down. We kind of like got out of our game plan. It was history from there. Every year you... Your trends change as the year goes on, both good and bad. Um, but it is disappointing to have 20-point leads in consecutive games and lose. That's for, that's for sure. Inside the locker room, you could feel a bit of frustration growing within this Celtics team that's now lost a 20-point lead in consecutive games. But more importantly, this injury to Kyrie Irving. Now, Brad Stevens didn't have a whole lot to say about it after the game, telling the media that Irving will undergo further testing and his availability is to be determined. The Celtics are set to head down to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers Tuesday night. And these two teams are battling for the fourth and fifth seeds in the Eastern Conference right now. Reporting from TD Garden, I'm Mark D'Amico for Celtics.com.